What's going on guys? David here with you with DC Appliance Repair. In this video, I want to be talking a little bit about trading DC style. So, I know a lot of you guys, I know you've seen the video, you want to know how you can make some extra money, you want to learn how to day trade, you want to learn how to get into the stock market, where do you go, how do I start, where do I begin? Well, I have all these answers for you in this video. So that being said, first things first, before you put your money or before you get in any kind of platform, you need to know a few things about the stock market. Okay, there's a few rules that needs to apply to you. Now, before I go any further, let's talk about the difference in an investor and a day trader. Now, an investor is somebody that wants to take their money put it into a business, put it into a company, and hold it for a long period of time. Now this can be a month, six month, year, or for years, okay? Now a day trader is someone like myself that looks for an opportunity into the stock market, is able to identify it, and able to see an opportunity to get in and get out, and to make a great profit in a, in a small opportunity. So that's the difference between an investor and a day trader. Okay, so the next thing we need to talk about is going to be the rules and the differences between a margin and a cash account. This is very important. These things are important because when you first get, regardless what app it is, if it's Webull or if it's Robinhood, you need to know what a margin account is and what a cash account is. Now, a margin account what a margin account is, you got to have 25000 in your bank in the account in order to trade unlimited. And this avoids the PDT rule, which is the pattern day trade rule. Now, you, you know, why I say you need to know the difference is because what happens is, is when you open up a Weeble account or when you open up a Robinhood account, it automatically be on a margin account. Now, it will ask you that which one do you want, but if you don't know it, it's just automatically going to be on margin. So with that being said, you put your cash in there, and if you're still trading and it's still set to margin, they will hit you with the rule, even though you're using your cash. So make sure if you're going to be using cash to have that setting set up in Weeble set on cash. I will have a video on how to set that up. So... Cash count, what cash count does for you, this allows you to overrule the PDT rule. And what I mean is, just say if you put 10 grand in or you put a thousand in, hundred dollars in, fifty dollars in, however amount that you want to put in, well, just say you start with a thousand dollars and you buy, you know, two hundred dollars worth of the stock, well, you still got eight hundred dollars left. Well, when you sell that stock that you paid two hundred dollars for, regardless of if you made a profit or for a loss, that particular two hundred dollars or that particular profit, whatever the amount is, will hit back into your account in two business days. So, what that allows you to do is still have eight hundred dollars to look for another entry. So, if you go and tie up your thousand dollars, well, you're gonna have to wait two days in order to trade again. Now. What they will do, they will give you back that buying power, but you if you buy into a stock, you have to hold it two days until your funds settle. So that's the difference between cash account and margin account. So, like me and like many people, even though you know you can use the margin account if you got 25k, I still prefer to use the cash account. So that's the difference in margin and cash account. So, that being said, this is going to be all that's concluded in this video. I think for a lot of you guys, you need to, before you even consider putting your money in, the, in, the, in any app, you know, download the app, go to the link, download the app, get your free stock, and learn how to paper trade. Now, I'm going to have videos on how to operate Weeble because that's the app that I use. So, got videos coming up here shortly. Have patience, take time. Uh, don't get in no hurry. Don't go putting a lot of money in there and you don't because you can lose it just as quick as you put it in there if you don't have risk management set up and what I'm gonna teach you. I'm gonna teach you how to do it, how I set it up, 
and how you how you could have your money and how to set up your risk management and etc there's a lot there's a lot to take in but if you if you study and take the time to do it you could be very successful at it well this is david i'll see you guys in the next video